Ugh. Waking up in the same position 11 times in a row can give you such a creak in the neck. I really should have picked a better sleeping position the first time around. Ah, oh, well. At least I know the secret to Giant's Deep now, so we can finally go down there and figure out what happened with the Orbital Probe Cannon. Still kind of disappointed we couldn't figure out what happened to the Nomai at the third escape pod, but who knows. Maybe if I have time, I can fly myself right back into the Bramble and solve that mystery along with the uh, Giant Steep one. Alright, time for liftoff. It feels so weird going back to Giant Steep after so long. It's been like, how many cycles now? Six? I think it's been six cycles since we've been there last. Now, if I can just even find it. Where are you, Giant Steep? Hard to believe I can have a hard time finding the largest celestial body out here. There it is. Nope, not you, Timber Earth. Going back into the deep. And who knows? Maybe I'll visit Gabbro. I'm sure they've been missing me for so many cycles now. Want to know my ventures on the other planets, meeting the other explorers, see how they're doing. Oh, and hey, look, the Quantum Moon's visiting. Still wish I knew a way to get on there, but from the look of the things, it's not really doable unless you know a trick to it. The Gnome might know a trick to it, but I still haven't discovered it for myself. What? Oh, that's the... I think that's a Bramble Island that's being launched up, and that looks like the Statue Island. I forgot about how weird this place is, and also how incredibly dangerous it is. Alright, let's set her down right here. Ooh. Well, there's the core. Can't see the current, but wait, what? Those look like the jellyfish. Alright, let's review the tricks and secrets to this place once more. Let's see, giant steep, giant steep, giant steep. Uh, orbital pro cannon, which means that the deep should be somewhere. Ocean depths. So there's a strong current that prevents anything from going below it. No, my construction saw something sink beneath the underwater feldspar, found a way to reach the core giant steep. And that would lead to, let's see, Gavros Island, construction yard. Where is the reading for the. Cyclones. There's the jellyfish reading about that. We know how they get to the core itself because the core is electrified by the looks of it. I'm not seeing anything for the the cyclones though. Hmm. Let's see if I can review everything. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Mines that leads all to the Ash Twin project. That's the vessel. And that high energy lab that we read about one time ago. And then all that stuff with the quantum moon. Not finding a sea. Bramble Sea, observatory, construction yard. Hmm. I don't see it. Well, if anything, if I remember right, it was we need to look for a cyclone that's different on the surface, and it would shoot me down below the current. Well, so far, they're all spinning the same way. Wait. This one's spinning counterclockwise, though. So this has to be the one. This seems incredibly dangerous and incredibly scary, which means I gotta do it. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! It worked! It did it! You can see the current, or right below it. Oof. There's the core. Like Feldspar said, there was only one way to get through the core. And from Feldspar themselves, it seems these things are the only thing that can get me safely past that electrical current. 
look too small to fit the ship in, which means I probably gotta go in and do it manually. Oh, I hate this. Alright, well, there's one coming up over there, so we'll use that one instead. Looks like the ten tentacles around it are electrified, so I probably need to go in from the bottom. Hopefully this doesn't flood the ship. Oh. All right. Thankfully this thing is watertight. Oh, this is gonna feel so weird. Ugh. Ugh. Ew. Ah, oh, it's so weird. Ugh. Ugh. Eaten by a jellyfish. I didn't think this is what I would be doing this cycle. Or any cycle. Let's see. Still got a ways to go to where past the core shield. Looks like we're dipping ourselves right into it. Launched a lot of probes, it seems. How many cycles do you think it took for them to launch all those probes? I probably shouldn't even think about it, to be honest. Retrieving launch data from the Ash Twin. Total number of probes launched 9367. Deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the Eye of the Universe found in probe 9354. It found something, but what did it find? Retrieving store coordinates from Ash Twin. Displaying coordinates of the eye 
for the eye of the universe. So that probe found it. The eye is real and it's out there. I need to remember these symbols if I ever want to discover that for myself. But how am I even supposed to do that? I don't have a ship that's strong enough to get to those coordinates. Our ships can only uh, go through our entire solar system. It can't make a jump like that. I have exciting news, Privet. The Ash Twin Project is almost prepared for, to retrieve the probe data from the orbital probe cannon. Ramy is adding some finishing touches to, to here, but she'll be finished soon. Are you in the orbital probe cannon well? We are. The probe tracking module is ready to record each launch flight trajectory and will automatically translate, transmit all relative data to you. On the, on the other appendage, I am not worried about the cannon's structural integrity and its crew's moral integrity. Once the probe determines the location of the eye of the universe, I'll send an alert directly to you, Raimi. Where does this lead? Oh, this is just back at that Ash Twin Project thing with the masks. I'd still would like to know who has possession of that third mask. Because all I know is it's just me and Gabbro. So who is number three? Imagine Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe can to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once anyways, so who minds if it compromises the orbital probe can and structural integrity slightly? I would mind, Mallow. I would mind because it wouldn't be capable of retrieving the probe data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. I feel like I've already read this. All these timelines are starting to blend together, in my opinion. This must lead back to the cannon itself. Yeah, this is the room that was destroyed. So I think I've already read this one, then. Alright, well, the big news is that we have the coordinates. Now we just need to find a way to find it. This is exciting. To think, I could be the first Hearthian to find the eye of the universe, do what the Nomai could never do. Maybe some Nomai actually did follow those coordinates and got there themselves. Who knows, maybe some are still alive out there, and maybe we can commune and uh, talk with one another. That might be a nice thought. Well, my jellyfish already disappeared, and I don't see any dip in their tentacles past the electrical barrier, so I guess I'm just gonna have to wait for my scout to come back. Uh, it's really unnerving in here. It just feels like something's just hiding out in the dark, ready to jump out and grab me. And, while I know it won't be the permanent end of me, it still would be a really, really Really terrifying way to go. I'd rather risk the heat death of our galaxy over whatever decides to jump out and try to get me while my back is turned. Right, is that thing coming back? By the looks of it, it seems like it is. Good. I'm guessing if I go, try to go through there myself, I'm going to get fried to a crisp. And I don't feel like ending... Oh, there's one, and it's already going up. Great. I don't feel like ending this cycle just yet. There's still some more I want to do. I want to see if I can still discover what's going on with that third escape pod back in the Bramble, if I have time. Might as well check the star chart real quick while I wait. And the sun's... It's getting pretty red, but we should still have plenty of time. Friends finally coming back to pay me a visit. Hello there. I am ready to leave. Ugh. Uh, I'll never get used to this feeling. Ugh. Where did my scout land on this thing? Not inside its mouth. 
mouth. I must have, like, gotten the very rim of its mouth. I feel a little lightheaded. Now the going. Guess what? I made it down below the surface. Hey, a time, buddy. It's a good thing that you never get bored of rain, huh? What's up? I found something. Nice, nice. What'd you get for me? I found out what happened to the orbital pro. I found your quantum home. Oh yeah, the one in the woods. I remember writing that. Pretty fun, right? It works out a good 24 poems. When I'm done exploring, I'm gonna make some more quantum art. Maybe some kind of creature sculpture, just like shows up when your back is turned and scares the daylights out of you. You know, like this island if you were under the sea and wanted to get out safely. Hello again. Again. 
Uh, I found some more stuff. I found out what happened to the cannon. Oh, the cannon breaking apart at the start of each time loop? For real? Did you find out why? Over enthusiasm. Kind of scary how much it sounds like something Slater Feldspar would do. Pretty surprised that Nomai built something that actually broke. Come to think of it, though, broke might be the wrong word because it looks like the Orbital Pro Cannon's still firing successfully at the beginning of each time loop. Uh. Hey, Gabro. By the way, how is it that you stay so calm in the face of repeating the imp impending death? Deep breaths. No, seriously, I meditate. Want me to teach you? It'll be the next time loop before you know it. Sure, why not? It's not like I'm going to be getting back to my ship anytime soon. Okay, close your eyes. 